Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over some uh, web page HTML5 structural elements. Particularly, I want to emphasize the sections and divs, basically the section tag and the div tag. Um, the div has been around for a long time, and it's incredibly useful. So let me go and start one off here. By the way, I've got a blank web page, nothing fancy on it. Got my doc type definition for HTML5, HTML tag, head tag. Um, title for the page, character encoding, meta author. I've got some empty section for some uh, internal styles or embedded styles. I might use that in just a little bit there. The body of my page simply has a headline one. If you saw this on the browser, there you go, that's what we have so far. Okay, so I'm going to do this first. I'm going to go to my, just after my opening body tag, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in div id equals container. It's rare uh, that you're going to use a div that does not have an ID in it. Maybe occasionally, but still kind of rare. So I have an opening div after my body tag. I'm going to put the corresponding closing div just before my closing body tag. So let's make sure everyone can see this okay. So the body of my page is basically completely contained within a div container. Let me indent this heading one just so it kind of stands out. And I'll put a comment right down here too so it stands out to us. End of container div. Yeah. Well, if I can do this now. Lost my hyphen there. Okay, this is an extremely normal way to structure a web page. My entire web page is contained within a container, and that's a common name for it, uniquely identified as container. Sometimes wrapper is used too. Now, within this container div, let's see, maybe I might have, of course, a couple of key sections. And my sections can have very specific names. By the way, there are specific sections like um, header and footer, but I'm going to kind of ignore those for now, and I'm going to go ahead and use the section tag, and I'll do id equals top, okay, and that contains, of course, my heading one. Then I might have another section, id equals left, left side, in fact, let me put this in a little paragraph here. So that way we have good practice. And then I'll do one more section, id equals right. Excellent. Okay, so my web page has a div outer container, and then it has three pivotal sections. And by the way, in a particular section, I might also have divs and things like that too. I probably won't use a section within a section, although it's not invalid to do so. A section kind of indicates a key part or key area, without using the word section, a key area of your web page. So realistically, um, I might have one section is going to be a left side column, Another section might be an advertisement area, something like that. And within that section, I can have more specific pieces of information. I might have several divs. One div just for navigation menu. Of course, there is a nav element to use for something like that. But I might have a div just for product description, something. Now, when you start using elements like divs and sections, you might at first be a little bit disappointed in how they look. Because if I, this is saved, if I go back to my web browser, and refresh, this is what I have. It's not really too exciting, you know? You can say, all right, well, there's my heading one. That's in my top section. Then I have my left side and my right side. Well, it's kind of boring. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of color to these just so we can see them. So I'm going to head up to my style here, and I'm going to go ahead and put in section top as a selector. And I'll just do a background color of yellow. I'm going to go ahead and copy this for a moment. And let's see, we'll do section left and section right. These are called ID selectors, by the way. Um, I have the element being used, then a pound sign, and then the ID for that element. Technically, having the word section here is not essential, but I'm going to leave it in for now. Let's see, let's do red and blue. So if I save this and head back over to my browser, 
and now I refresh now we can see where those sections truly are and if you recall from one of my earlier videos on headlines and paragraphs this is the behavior of block elements so we can accurately assume that section elements are block elements they separate themselves from surrounding content with a line space and they take up the full width available to the, available to them that's what block elements do sections and divs are block elements headlines and paragraphs are block elements unordered lists and list items are block elements ordered lists are block elements a lot of block elements dealing with page structure so now I can see alright there's my left side and right side absolutely not really part of this video but let me just kinda of show you um, I can go to this section left I'm gonna set its width to 50 percent oops and I'm gonna float it left so now we can have the left side on the left and the right side on the right so creating web page layouts isn't my topic for this video I really just want you to get familiar with the section element and the div element and this is really how they would be used so not much to it you use the div tag and the section tag for pretty much the same kind of thing but if you're using a section tag it's to really identify a key part of your web page notice my div is actually my entire web page my container so to speak and then I have key sections within that div and then I might have divs within a section for instance I could have a div inside of my left section and maybe it would also have a unique ID and maybe this is going to be a banner add one maybe I've got an advertisement spot right in there and then within this div of course I would have my image or my flash object or something like that that represented that advertisement so you can have divs within sections you can have sections within divs you can have divs within divs you might also have sections within sections but I think that's probably probably gonna be the rarer or the most rare situation